Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So uh, I'm going to explain to you a uh, low battery sensor and also the, what is it, power switch. So first of all, low battery sensor, uh, when your battery, you, first you need to have batteries like you see over here. I got two batteries. So each of them is 1000 um, energy that it provides once you accumulate it by a uh, solar panel or, or wind turbine. Okay, so I have a total of 2000, all right, and it says 86%, right? So now... Let's say you have a power generator. In this case, I have a power cell generator, or you can have a diesel power generator. But I don't have power. Uh, I don't have diesel generator yet. I will in the future, and I suggest that you that you produce diesel generator because it consumes uh, fuel. This one over here, which I'm gonna call it. This guy over here, it consumes uh, liquid fuel, which is easier to get in a sense. But otherwise, you uh, you can do this one as well uh, but this one consumes a power cell and this is hard to get so if you don't want to use your power cell generator 24 7 uh, unless necessary this is what you need to do you need to have this guy over here low battery sensor make sure everything is well connected if you see wires on the ground if they are well connected like this right and uh, once it's well connected, you're going to put this uh, to a uh, control circuit number. I put in number two. It doesn't have to be number two. It could be one, two, three or four. But as long as you have, you know, a number and that this one has the same number. So it should be act number two as well. It's already number two, right? So then when you go over here, you see it says 20% threshold. What it means is that when these, when you see over here, when this goes down to 20%, it means that, that my low battery sensors will activate my power cell generator and it will start consuming my power cell. But this is good for 14 days. So this is really for emergency. You know what I'm you know what I mean? Make sure that this is turned on all the time. So if you see a green check mark, it means it, it, it means it is turned on. So control circuit two, uh, active circuit two. But right now you see it's not it is not supplying en any energy. Why? Because my battery is already at 86%. It needs to go below. 20% or you can change it if you say oh no you know what I want to go to I don't know 70% then you can choose to activate it you can do that too but me I don't want that because 70% is too much uh, I go down to 20% or even 30% but I'm going to leave at 20% and I don't think I'm going to have any energy issue because I have two batteries first of all and I have all these solar panels as you can see they're all connected and they generate a lot of energy during the daytime so this is important and make sure that any uh, circuit so if you choose number two make sure that any other devices is not connected to number two because if you put let's say this see this guy is connected to number three if you put this guy to number two there's going to be a conflict and i did it in the in the past and there was a conflict with uh, these two over here so it's so you don't want to do that so make sure this is this the pole over here this is what is this this is a floodlight so make sure it is connected you can put the control circuit to a different number than two may put in number three number four number one or none all right so now you're gonna say why is it at number three all right uh now i'm gonna explain to you this guy over here power switch see it says uh active circuit one this one on the side the other one over here it says active circuit three so now i just talk about number three so this is number three Floodlight is also other devices. This guy over here, we call it lightning rod is on number three. So every lightning rod is on number three. Floodlight number three. All right. So what happened is that if I if I tell if I go over here and I turn off uh, my power switch. So what it means that all my devices like all my floodlight and also my lightning rod will turn off. So if you want to save energy, you know, it's good. Usually you want to use uh, you want lightning rod. You know to be applied to a different circuit because this is useful during a wind, like when it rains see right now it's raining so you want to turn it on but the problem is that it is all i also combined it with the light which has nothing to do with lightning you understand but that's because i chose to but i, I could switch i could i could put this one number four uh number four so you know just so that so that it doesn't uh, blend with each other so this one number four over here uh this one is number three leave it there so i only have three floodlight i think one two three is it true yep so everything every other lightning rods are number three now the floodlights are number four wait changing to number four somebody needs to come and switch it once number four but if i do number four because i only have two power switch i need to do another power switch so you're going to click this guy press v then you're going to do another one like here boom and then i'm going to put this one on number four so that number four 
will be linked to um, all my, you know, uh, floodlight. What happens is that during the day, I'm going to turn it off. So I'm going to say, hey, you know what? During the day, turn it off so that I can save energy. You know, you know what I mean? If you need to save energy, usually I don't need to because I have more than enough energy. But, you know, you never know, right? Oh, there's an attack. I'm being attacked. Oh, my God. All right, guys. So anyway, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait. All right, guys. So this is the this is how it works. So uh, if this video helped you, um, please like and sub. And don't thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Cheers.